congratulations to Corwin. You are the April 26th winner of the free 3600 emeralds. Your comment was randomly chosen from the last Hero Wars mobile video. In order to have a chance to win these emeralds, all you got to do is be a mobile player, Hero Wars mobile player. You got to leave a comment on my Hero Wars mobile specific videos, and you've got to live in a country that accepts iOS, Android, or PayPal gift cards. Corwin, get a hold of me over on Discord or on Facebook Messenger. We will get you all taken care of. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion. Only, it's only game. Why you have to be mad? We have a sneak peek about three hours ago. Hi there. The special event Riotous Growth starts tomorrow on April 26th at 2 a.m. UTC. Get ready to upgrade Earth Titans. Earth Titan event is a great event. Okay. Earth Titans. Despite what I say in my title, I think that Water Titans are probably a little bit more important overall. Though... I feel like Angus and Eden are incredibly important Titans to have in your team. Angus is probably the best tank Titan. Probably the best tank Titan. Okay. And of course you want Eden because you want to have all three Super Titans summoned and ranked up. So I, I think two of the four Titans are very important. But uh, you could say the same thing about uh, the, uh, the Water Titan lineup as well as the Fire Titan lineup. Maybe less so the Fire Titan lineup, unless you're trying to get real frisky with it. Be uh, outside the normal. So this is definitely a good event, but not a fun event. Finkelzo is correct. This is the event where you do a handful of tasks. You get the small jar. The small jar turns into the medium jar. The medium jar turns into the big jar. And the small and medium jar have uh, Titan leveling resources. The medium jar has the basic Earth Titan Soul Stones. We're talking about Sylvan. Angus and I always forget the third one. I don't know why I always forget the third Earth Titan. And then the big jar has uh, has uh, Eden, the Super Titan, in it, right? And each jar has an opportunity to open smaller jars, so it kind of goes back and forth a little bit. A great event, but it is not a fun event, like Finkelso said. Fun events have a little bit more interactivity to them. They have like mini games. They have uh, an adventure map. They have different tasks that you're supposed to do every day, not just the same tasks every single day. Angus is the best tank titan, no question about it. Okay, Void. Okay. I think uh, Sigurd does edge Angus out on offense, but not on defense. Yeah. So we'll talk about this event a little bit more tomorrow when we go live. But I thought it'd be interesting to discuss real quick the difference between the tanks and why they're important. This, cause we'll, this will lead into it, and we've discussed this many times, but for those of you that are... Uh, newer to Hero Wars, if you're a Hero Wars mobile player, it is very important to have a nice team of Titans if your guild wants you to be a Titan fighting player, okay? If you want to be a hero fighting player, obviously you need to discuss that with your guild and that's outside the scope of this video. So when it comes to hero, I'm sorry, when it comes to Titan tanks, Sigurd is what most would say is the best tank. You have this ability right here that blocks all damage, okay? It does not matter Sigurd's level. It doesn't matter his stats, his physical attack, his health. It does not matter. This ability will make Sigurd immune for five seconds. Blocks all damage for five seconds. Now, the interesting thing about this is that you usually want to time this ability to counter either Araji's big laser beam attack, Araji's uh, incinerating array, because Araji's Incinerating Ray will target the first Titan, and then once that Titan is defeated, it'll go on to the next Titan. So if you can time Sigurd's shield to block Araji, then it will absorb all of that damage, no matter the level of your Sigurd, by the way. And uh, you could consider blocking Eden's big boulder throw. The Burden of Creation raises a humongous chunk of rock from the ground and hurls at the center of the enemy team, but this obviously doesn't really protect your team as much as it does, um, as the uh, Sigurd Shield does against Araji. Now, this is only effective on offense, right? On offense, in manual mode, you can control when you use Sigurd's shield. You can control it. On defense, you can't control the timing of when Sigurd activates the shield. He may activate it too early, he may activate it too late. Either way, if you miss the timing, then Araji will burn through your Sigurd and right into your mid line of your Titan team. Now, because you can't control it, and it could end up being a complete waste, some people would consider Angus to be the superior defensive tank. Again, we're talking about mobile here, specifically mobile, all right? This does kind of apply to Facebook and web, but not so much, okay? Now, Angus' ultimate ability, aside from just being a thick, high health tank, more health than Sigurd, but less defenses than Sigurd, 
His ultimate ability can be used at any time, right? What, whenever he's properly charged up, at, that is. And he does area of effect damage to the entire enemy team. It doesn't matter when Angus uses his ultimate. So if you need a tank on defense, Angus is slightly better because whenever he uses his ultimate, it doesn't matter the timing. It doesn't matter when uh, Araji is using his laser beam. It doesn't matter when the enemy Eden is using their uh, their rock throw or or um, you know Sylvan is using her her you know bunch of bow and arrow shots or whatever. Angus will just fire it off, and you just gotta have to hope that your Angus is leveled up enough that his health, his health and uh, um, uh, and artifacts are leveled up enough to prevent him from dying long enough so that he can keep your team alive, to defend long enough so that he can use his ultimate and so on and so forth. So whenever I say things like the Earth Titans are the best Titans, that's kind of what I'm referring to. Now, there is uh, an argument for Moloch, right? The Fire Titan tank, but we're not gonna really get into that too much because that's a little bit niche, niche? Niche, Angus Burger. Man, I love burgers. I love cheeseburgers so much. On mobile, you can also have the Titan Artifact Actives. Yep. Now, regarding Silva, Avalon, and Eden, I mean, like I mentioned, you definitely want to have all of the Super Titans leveled up. Avalon's got the Health Regen, which is important. Not quite as strong as Hyperion overall. Hyperion being the the only Super Titan that has a healing skill. But Avalon, having this, uh, having this Artifact Weapon fire off while you're in the dungeon, uh, or with a proper defensive lineup, this could be extremely beneficial. One of the handful of Titans that has the health regen artifact weapon. And then of course, Silva with her defense from water is good against certain lineups as well. So Earth Titans are good Titans to have leveled up, but I hate Titan Wars. I don't hate them. I just don't enjoy them as much. And we'll talk more about the event itself tomorrow when it's live. Yeah. Moloch is great for manual offense to control the front line, especially if multiple tanks are on defense. Ah, okay, okay, I like it, I like it. Why doesn't Webb have the additional artifact effect? Uh, Rahul, Webb does have artifacts. They're just a little different. They're just a little different. Mobile developers knew that they needed to bring a very strong use case in order to justify the artifacts. It's a very sticky subject, Titan artifacts. Very sticky subject.